What is poppin' my wild apple gangers? It is Deku and Waddle Deep with another episode of Yoshi's Bully World. And we're going to be playing Flying Carpet Cruise today, which is not not a level I was looking forward to, honestly. Um because it gets pretty tedious pretty quickly. Like the gimmick of the level is cool, right? But it gets gimmick or the gimmick is gimmicky. <laughs> and that is not uh always a good thing. I've gotten hit already. Oh no. Alright. Oh, it falls back down. That's so nice of it. So yeah, there's a flying carpet. Crouching makes it go downwards, and jumping makes it go upwards. You can also ground pound to go down straight. If you know what I mean? I always thought there was like a hidden cloud there, but there's not a hidden cloud there. I remember that little detail, that I thought there was a hidden cloud there, because I looked for a secret for a really long time on this level. Which, uh... It's not a good thing. It's not something I want to have to deal with now. But I do. Because I have to play the level. And I have to 100% it. I don't know why I'm talking like this now. But I am. So yeah, I mean... It's pretty... Should make sense how the carpet works. A good snipe. I have to be careful. Doesn't look like there's anything of note there. There's a hidden cloud down there. Which is concerning. I feel like I'm gonna miss something on this level. Just like with my current mood and like I'm recording this the same up or the same day as last episode. Where I just got absolutely destroyed by the fishes. Oh no. Oh no, I cannot have this right now. Um... That was close. What the hell is the deal with this level? I don't know what I'm jumping into. It's like, look at all these fucking blind- I don't like this level, I really don't like this level. Hopefully that... becomes obvious as I play it. But no, this level's a fucking pain in the ass, and I'm gonna have to probably replay it. Like, this is only the beginning. You know? And I have to check every fucking nook and cranny. You see what I mean? I have to check every nook and cranny, because there could be some stupid stuff like that. Like, it adds too much verticality to the secret finding, which is just so... ...annoying. Hopefully I get enough hearts. I really don't want to replay this level if I can. I'm gonna wait until the next level, because hopefully I can kind of relax on the next level. So this is gonna make a for uh, a carpet. You know, this guy blows it down. I don't think he's hiding anything behind himself, but I'm gonna hit him. Oh, so he's out of the game for a little bit. Um, so I'm just gonna collect some more yarn balls. Because I should. And, uh, we're gonna get our move on. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until next level to talk about things I actually want to talk about, because... It's just obvious this level is a fucking pain. Okay. I just have to play perfectly, man. It's so... So shit. It really is. It's such a piece of shit level. And it is not helping my mood at all. I swear this is like... One of my least favorite levels. Like... Uh... So... I don't think it's... I, I think I would have been annoyed playing... Oh shit. I think I would have been annoyed playing this level anyways, because, because you know, uh, because it's annoying, and, what, uh -huh? I thought I could bounce on him, what? That is so fucking stupid, actually. I don't know what the hell caused that, but whatever caused that is some bullshit. These guys are gonna stab me. Alright, I gotta get this bead. 
the cloud isn't going, or the carpet isn't going anywhere. Even though it feels like it is sometimes. I think I need a small cloud to get into that pipe, yeah. Or why do I keep calling them clouds? They're freaking carpets. You can tell I'm just done. You can tell I'm done right now. So now I have a small carpet, which is smaller. <laughs> Yeah, I know, it's crazy, right? It's crazy that this carpet is smaller than the big carpet. Uh, anyways, hopefully this game is is, is fun. Is it just a That was it? You couldn't think of anything better than that? Just ground pound twice? Also, that carpet is huge, by the way, and I think we'll have to pilot it later. Which I'm not looking forward to. Oh, how do I get this? I really don't like you, dude. I really don't like you. I missed my yarn ball, too. I don't think I can eat any of these guys. Yeah, their spears just barely poke out. Okay, I can eat this guy, though. Ah. Gotta wait for him to turn around. Okay, I got him. Why am I doing this, anyways? Was it just to hijack this guy's cloud? I mean, I suppose I might as well, but I already hijacked a guy's cloud. Alright, so this douche... How do you get this? I think you gotta go on the other side and unravel it. Pretty sure that's all you have to do, it's really stupid, but... Yep. I remembered. Such a piece of shit level, honestly. It's such a piece of shit level. It don't play around, okay? I like, guess level don't play. Okay. No one down here. I don't think there's anything up either. I want to say there's nothing up, bro. I'm sitting in such an uncomfortable position to have to, like, talk to you guys. I'm in so much pain right now, and my life sucks because I'm playing Yoshi's Board World, which is my favorite game ever. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. This game... is good. Oh, gosh, this carpet is huge. And you can't make a that's what she said joke out of that, because I said carpet. There's a lot of sexual innuendos, but I don't think carpet is one of them. Shorty, give me bomb carpet. Oh god, this is so lame. Okay. Fucking. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna go on. Oh, you're a dick face. Oh, you're rude. Oh, okay, I guess there's a pipe up there. So does that mean I should come up there? I don't think I can even witness it. Yeah, I can't. So I've got no choice but to... I might have missed something like hidden in the clouds around here. Dude, screw off. Like, it's possible I could have just missed something around here. Dude, I'm just walking aimlessly. Uh, this thing is so slow, too. It's so slow. Yeah. Gotta watch out for the nipper plant. Oh, that's really cool, man. That's so cool. Um, uh, nothing up here, I assume? Because the level just taught me that there's nothing up here, so I shouldn't expect anything up here. But knowing this game, there could very well just be something up there. So I have to check every single fucking time. Because it's possible the camera just pans upwards when you get over here, and it goes like, oh, here's a flower or something. It's stupid. Okay, well, I got all the flowers, which is a good thing. 
I believe I want to go up there. Actually, I don't think I do. That's way too dangerous to go up there. I think it takes them a while to spawn, though. Oh. Well, this thing needs to... I'll go. So I'm gonna wait for your piranha to come down. Kill that bitch. Okay, there's no one up there. Um, okay, this is important. Okay, I got all stamps. This might be the Wonder Wall. Yes! Just finish on full health. Please, 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 please. Please be the end. Please be the end. Yes! Uh, oh my gosh, that level was torture. Like, do you know how long? Like, that level went on longer than most levels, probably, right? I'd expect because of the carpet just moves so slow. It's just so not fun to control. At first, it's like, oh, wow, we're on a flying carpet. Isn't this cool? And then you have to be on the flying carpet the whole freaking level. And that's when it's a problem. But still, look at how many bees I get in this compared to, like, other shit. Some of the other games are just stupid. Some games are really easy to get 4,000 plus beats in, and some of the bonus games are hard to get, like, 2,000 in or 3,000 in. Panda Yoshi is pretty interesting, honestly. Uh, I don't, I don't mind that. It does it looks a little off? I guess it looks pretty good, and I'm just glad I never have to play that level ever again. Big Montgomery's Ice Fire? Are you serious? More Big Montgomery? Oh my gosh. Testing. Testing, okay. Cell level didn't really take as long as I thought it did, honestly. But now we're playing Big Montgomery's Ice Fort. Uh, so a critique of this game could be the, you know, boss originality. I mean, I like Bunsen, the hot dog. I believe the hot dogs are new enemies to this game. I might be wrong about that, though, considering I've basically never played any of the other games when you really think about it. I haven't beaten any of the other games. I played the first Yoshi's Island, maybe, like, World 1 of it. And then I played, like, probably, like... Oh, fucking hell. Oh! <laughs> I just popped off after seeing the cutest thing, and then I just killed him immediately. He was too dangerous. No, oh, what the fuck is this? How do you... Wait, what? Oh, what is this, dog? Oh, never mind. Wait, how do I get that? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Are you... Intentive enough? Attentive enough to fucking... Figure it out? Can't go that way. Can't go this way. Should, yeah, I just had to go inside the ice. Yep. Hello? Yeah, I know I had to fit in somewhere. Okay, we got our first flower right off the bat here. Which is a nice relief, actually. I don't know if it is. Sorry if I hit the mic there. Um, so yeah, we got Bumpties, which are one of my... I mean, they're like my favorite Yoshi enemy. Next to Shy Guys. Or, wait four shy guys and you cannot eat them but you can spit them out and you can jump on their heads they're like bouncy platforms they still give you the flutter jump boost which is great and you can spit them out and kill enemies with them another perk of them is that they're really cute uh the thing is that I, my uh mouse cursor is actually a bumpty so there's a little bumpty 
and it's next to a little mouse cursor. That's like what my mouse cursor looks like, like a bumpy next to an arrow, pretty much. And he like sleeps. He sleeps, and uh, I think when I like, uh, when the cursor changes, he might do different things. I'm not sure. He might wake up or something. But he's even got like a little animation as the cursor like sleeps, you know. Okay, so now we have ice here, right? And we want to fit through. So what I have to do is I have to go over there. Okay. I have to get those. There's a yarn right there. This is kind of introducing us to the gimmick of the level, kind of. I gotta go back out. It should be fine. I don't think... Oh, that is a stamp right there. No, it's not. I just miss... Fuck. Did not mean to do that. I'm in an awkward position, so I'm accidentally doing a lot of things. Like hitting my mic and... Throwing yarn balls accidentally. Alright, cool. A little bit of lag. Hopefully I can bounce up here, yeah. Nice. If this is hearts, then I really need this guy dead. That's such a douchebag place to place hearts. I know I saw it coming, but like, that's a douchebag place to place hearts. I feel like I've gotten, like, hit there. I haven't missed all the hearts, you know? Before. Oh, that fucking eats you? I, I guess I guess it makes sense. I was thinking I could just lean on the wall there and he wouldn't eat me, but he did. Also, notice how all the yarn balls are. You know, icy colors. You know, blue. The cold colors. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh. So yeah, we got tilting shit. It's like wild in here. Oh yeah, I have to talk about Dark and Rampa. What? What progress have I made? Um, so I have uh, beaten the second class trial. I'm on chapter 3. I think the murder is about to occur, like, pretty soon. I am, like, 90% sure the murder is going to occur pretty soon. I mean, the time between murders is, like, huge. There's a lot of setup because, you know, realistically, it's not just going to be like, okay, one person dies. One person gets murdered, we have the class trial, we kill them, and then no one's just gonna, you know, kill the next person immediately. Usually there's a motive that's given out by, uh, Monokuma. And he, uh, oh gosh. Yeah, usually there's a motive given out by Monokuma, which, you know, motivates them to kill people. And usually we have to sit on that. I think I know what the motive for the v murder is gonna be. Because I think I know who's going to get murked. It's pretty obvious who's going to get murked. Um, because they're too powerful right now. Basically, there's a girl who has basically created a cult. And um, she's like very religious. So, uh, uh, yeah, basically she says like, oh, well, my God is telling me to... Um, my god is telling me to say these things and do these things, so I must be right because the god is telling me. And somehow she just gets like four people to believe it. Uh, maybe it's three, but maybe it's four because one of them is uh, pretending to believe it so that they can protect another character who's very innocent and believes it, uh, which I think is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, basically because there's like so many of them who are a part of that group they have like uh almost like half of the people alive are from that you know sort of group they call themselves the student council but they're like a cult basically who apparently just cares about the safety of the students but like Oh, okay, I thought he kills you. Yeah, if you bump into a bumpty, they bump you. It's crazy. Oh, shit. Yeah, they don't hurt you, which is really nice. 
And these guys are just waiting for me. And then they just bump me off, which is really annoying. So yeah, I think she's gonna die. I mean, I don't think that's a spoiler, because that's a guess. You know? If I remember correctly. I don't know, actually. But, my guess is that she's gonna die, because... Um... She's basically got way too much control. Uh, because pretty much none of the people on the student council even, you know, disagree with her on anything. They just take her opinion as absolute. Um, it's really stupid, honestly. I don't... This might be one of the weaker parts of the game, because... Um... Because, like, I just don't know how she could convince... I understand some of the characters how they'd be convinced like two of them make sense because one of them's both of them are just like innocent oh, I need to go up there both of them are just like innocent characters you know so like I understand why they join then one of the other characters just makes no sense because they're literally a rational they're a rational person I'd say um they're a robot, actually, but, you know, they basically talk and act like a person, just like, they're a pretty good character, in my opinion, uh, cause, you know, it's just kinda cool, they don't really have any, like, robo powers or anything, uh, although, um, could be hiding them, he did use, like, a, uh, he did record someone's voice, and that's pretty much the only thing he's done, really, by being a robot to actually do something of value. But, uh, yeah, I like him. It just doesn't make sense why he's a part of their group. Because I don't think a robot would join a uh, religious cult, you know. That doesn't really make sense. When I put it that way, it doesn't make sense, and when you look at his character, it doesn't make sense. He seems to be pretty rational, and he seems to consider the consequences of what would happen when, you know, some shady shit happens. You know, he's pointed it out multiple times, so I feel like it, that doesn't really make sense to me. But other than that, I'm, you know, enjoying it. And we're also building, like, a uh, kind of a bond with two characters. Because in the first chapter, uh, shit went down, and, uh, the main character got pretty depressed. But, uh, he's, he's basically got one friend and one kind of friend. She's, like, developing as a character right now. She's having her character development moment, which, uh, which is really nice. I, uh, I like her character a lot. Um. But, yeah, I'd say that's pretty much it. Murder's gonna happen soon, probably. I'm enjoying, you know. It's interesting, at least. You know, no game has really done something quite like this before. Yeah. I know there's some shit down here. Okay, fuck off. Okay, I'm living. Dude, I couldn't flutter jump for like forever there for some reason. I don't understand why. I, I'm pretty sure I've fallen into the pit here before. Um, but yeah. I've been I've been enjoying it, you know, it's interesting still. I'm not gonna act like it's not interesting. And I, I guarantee you this case will be I mean the investigations and the cases are the best part of the game, obviously, you know, they should be. Um But you know, some of the dialogue is you know, pretty good too, I guess. Some of it's bad, you know. There's a lot of... Uh, characters that I don't really like. But I suppose that's, you know, like, part of it. Oh no, I missed a stamp. Oh, this is horrible. This is always the last thing I want to happen. Because if I miss hearts, I know where hearts are, you know, I can... I can get the hearts on the level, but when I miss a stamp, it could I could have missed it literally anywhere in the level. And, oh, and I found the stamp, <laughs> uh, I'm so stupid, 
I'm so stupid. Stop. So yeah, it's uh, it's good so far, and uh, I'll play more today, of course, and then I'll tell you guys more tomorrow, because that's all I really want to talk about right now, pretty much. This is pretty much just me talking about things I like on this while I play this game I like, so it's not really fair to say I can't talk about this, even though, you know, like, I'm playing this game, but... I want to talk about things I actually enjoy right now, <laughs> and uh, or like I am experiencing, not enjoy, because I'm enjoying this uh, to an extent <laughs> right now, because I'm still feeling shitty. But uh, I'm just gonna ignore Kamek, honestly. I, I really don't care. Anyways, this guy might have a spiky helmet now. No. Okay, so he's gonna go do this, and you want to ground pound, and that just launches him out. This way shouldn't be too bad. There's ice physics though, which always muck things up. I think that's a British thing. Muck something up. I don't know. I feel like I've heard a British YouTuber say that or something. I might be wrong. It could be Australian too. Alright, so he's gonna do this attack. Yep. Oh, just does it twice. Um, so the third time he's gonna do it thrice. And probably have less time to ground pound him. And now he's gonna... Okay. Alright. That was almost... Pretty bad. Just gotta land on his head. Okay, that was almost bad. Okay. And that's that. I know, really original that they had, uh... Big Montgomery back for another, uh, fortress level. You fight both, uh, we're not winging the guy, uh, three times. But the fights are different every time, of course. It's just like, I kind of like it for there to be a different boss, if you get what I mean. Um, but I don't hate this. Uh, because I did 100% the level first try. And, uh, I'm feeling a lot better now, honestly. Last episode really soured my mood, but this was good. You can tell my mood is really dependent on whether I 100% a level first try. This this is Arctic Yoshi. Frostbite Yoshi. Fuck, which one's Arctic Yoshi? I swear there's one called Arctic Yoshi and I will not live that down. <sighs> is that? No, that's not the level. It's 5-6, I think, is the level. Anyways, what is this guy called? Frostbite Yoshi? I mean, Frostbite Yoshi are going to have a chat. I hope you guys enjoyed. Because, uh, I did. I did. I enjoyed the, uh, second level a lot more. It's a cool level. You know. Basically, a level's cool when I can 100% at first try. But still, like, no, I actually do like the gimmick of the level compared to this. I like the moving ice. I like the bumpties. You know, it, it tries to screw with your movement and stuff. And I think that's pretty cool. So, uh, of course, I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. And goodbye.